Hey guys, Yasiel here, back with another video. Uh, I'm sure most of my family and friends uh, uh, already know that I, I recently bought a 3D printer a few months ago. Um, so I've been keeping busy printing um, a lot of uh, models and toys and cute animation uh, figurines from, from movies um, and different cartoons like the Minions and some low poly uh, Pokemon. Um, as well as uh, Toothless from uh, How to Train Your Dragon, uh, and it's been uh, it's been really awesome printing these models uh, and getting the quality uh, that's uh, fairly decent from my Anet A8. Uh, but I I thought I, I wanted to start printing more um, more useful prints uh, just to justify having a printer and 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 reaping the full benefits from it. So I set off trying to find some useful prints. Uh, that I can use on my day-to-day -day. Um, and this video is just going to be on my top useful prints uh, that I've done thus far Cool, so starting off with one of the tallest ones. Uh, this was one of my bigger prints uh, that I, I have done on the print uh, on the printer um, So this is a headphone stand done by MakerBot themselves. I, I got the the STL file from Thingiverse um, I think most of these, if not all of them, I got from Thingiverse. And uh, yeah, this was printed in uh, PLA. All of these prints were done in PLA. This took about uh, seven to eight hours. I did use a bit of um, uh, a lower quality setting just because if I if I if I made it too, uh, if I if I increase the detail of the print, uh, the print would have taken much much longer than uh, six to eight hours. Uh, this is super useful. I keep my headphones on this at work uh, every day. Uh, yeah, one of uh, one of the the cooler prints that I've done uh, that I, I use on a daily basis. Next, I have a three D printed phone cover for the Samsung S seven that I have. I currently I'm recording this video using that phone, which has another cover on it. Uh, this was one of my uh, prints that I've done with this yellow filament, but unfortunately, the quality didn't come out too. Uh, too good on, on, on the sides. Uh, that's because I forgot to add supports for this print But I mean I've printed quite a few other phone covers in uh, in different colors, but uh, This is one of the this th this one looked uh, a bit decent the one that's currently on my phone uh, looks the best and I'll probably show that in, a, in another video Next up I have the phone stands uh, these uh, this is another one that you know uh, I use at both at home and at work. This one, uh, so these were both done by the same individual on Thingiverse. And uh, oh, by the way, all credit goes to these guys. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the description in the you know I'll leave the links in the description below. Uh, none of these designs I can claim any uh, uh, you know any rights to or any uh, uh, take any credit for. Uh, I I literally just printed these on my printer at home. And a big, big thanks to all the guys that provided this free of charge because uh, it really helps the whole 3D printing community. Uh, yeah, looking at this, this uh, both these phone stands came from the same user. One is actually for uh, for tablets, so it has a bit of a longer, uh, you know, a, a bit more support, so you can a add uh, heavier tablets or or larger phones to. And one is a, a normal phone stand that you can add. Um, uh, most phones work work with this. I, I think uh, uh, an iPhone 6s fits comfortably in this. Um, yeah, and obviously a Batman coaster uh, that I keep at uh, on my desk. Unfortunately, there there was some scarring on the first layer, so you can notice some lines on it. Uh, but I mean, for a coaster, that that's uh, that's that's not too bad. Uh, going on to my uh, my laptop stand. So this this was an interesting print. This 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 also did take quite a while. I printed this at. Uh, 0 0.32 layer height, so it, it is quite uh, a rough print. It's not the most detailed print. Uh, to put it into perspective, uh, these minions, these were printed at 0 0.2, which which is which is is a is a is okay. It's not the most finest. You can go lower to 0 0.1, uh, but I was able to get some decent detail with um, you know at 0 0.2. The reason why I increased the layer height on these is. Uh, just to save on time because I, I sometimes I don't like to leave the printer running without me being around so I Increased this to 0 0.32, which is around about the most I'll, I'd probably go uh, But these, these this print came out pretty solid um, and basically 
I, I've added, so how it works is uh, you put these two uh, pieces down and you have your laptop uh, sit on it and it sits at a bit of an angle so it's easier to type and a bit more ergonomic. Uh, the, the things that I've done to this printer, as you would have noticed, this is black. I stuck a piece of vinyl on this just to add a bit more uh, friction so that the, because of my, uh, my MacBook kept sliding off. Uh, so that this did help. Another thing that I, 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 I did with this is added a bit of press stick at the bottom uh, so I could, I could stick this on my table and it didn't move anywhere uh, because once you lift off the laptop, I don't want it moving and then realign it to make sure the, the, the width is correct. Um, and then moving on to one of the cases that I've done for uh, a power supply. This is uh, the uh, Ming He uh, D3606, Six, if I'm not mistaken, or three six or five, I I'm, I'm can't remember the product code offhand. Uh, but this is I, I did a review of this item on uh, on my channel, and I I didn't have a cover for a long time, and I, unfortunately I found a user on Thingiverse that, that that designed a cover for this, and it it fits perfectly. I, I printed both the back panel uh, and the the top cover from uh, you know from uh, that user provided both uh, both covers, um, and it fits perfectly. The you got you got a a place to add your DC jack, um, you know your input. If you're going to provide, if you're going to use, if you're not going to use a DC jack, you will go directly with the two wires, and then a place for your output cables, um, and then easy access to the buttons and the LCD. So those are some of my some of the some of the my most useful prints that I've done thus far. Um, I'm definitely going to be looking at making a few more useful prints. Uh, I'm going to be showcasing a cool 3D printed speaker that I've done recently. Uh, I'll, I'll be doing. I'll be going in more detail uh, in that in another video. Uh, but cool. I I I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.